It struck me earlier on, Marty, actually thinking about Fermanagh doing with the lookout in Crow Park and see the strides and the journey that Fermanagh have made. Uh, impossible, really, for me to give them a, a big shout today. They're really up against, uh, I suppose, the fine, one of the finest teams uh, in the country. They're going to have to produce a magnificent performance to even stay in this game. It's a big test for the youngsters from Fermanagh. The first of the quarterfinals underway. Back outside for Paul McGrain. The pass is not a good one. Nicely picked up by Tony McEntee. Armagh putting the pressure on immediately. Fermanagh chasing shadows. This is for Stephen McDonald with the right foot. The umpires say it's another point. Floating this one in. Colin Bradley looking around. The support is there again. In the shape of Peter Sherry. Comes back and this is going over the crossbar. Fermana have registered their first score in this quarterfinal. Kieran Hughes pumping it in high and very long. Goalkeeper's off his line. Comes back to McDonald. Good defending by Fermana, but momentarily there was a chance of a goal. Punched on. Liam McBarrett stays opening up for big full forward James Sherry. Options available, decides to go for a score, and the white flag will be raised. Ross Lays, James Sherry gets his first point, lays it off to Raymond Johnson. This is, by the way, from Mana. The no hopers, they said, coming to Croke Park. So far, they're producing it here. Lovely ball again, in towards Mark Little. He needs the support of his colleague from the half forward line, Stephen Maguire, with the left post. Ah, oh, magic! It's his first from play. I was above in Lisbon Ski a couple of weeks ago. The place was just covered in green and white. Charlie McGrew has certainly brought wonderful confidence to this Fermanagh side. They love their football in Fermanagh. Trying to get inside the cover of Shane McDermott. Back outside towards Ronan Clark. Ball half blocked down. Chance here for Jimmy Marsden. Oh, at the post. Oh, my word. Amazingly, Fermanagh, the no hopers, the outsiders completely are leading at half-time. Fermanagh, eight points. Armagh, six points. Niall Tinney's kick out, straight down the middle. Breaking ball, picked up by Tony McEntee. Laying it off, there's Paul McGrain. This is good play, Paddy McKeever in space. Good opportunity here, flicks it inside, first McDonald, and McDonald sends it over the bar. And they start again, Huey Brady. Into the space. Now they've got to capitalize. Running. Eamon Maguire getting by one challenge. They descend on him in numbers, but Maguire gets the kick in and sends it over the bar. Oh, my Wonderful my run my by Eamon Maguire. Ooh. Challenge and Tom Brewster and Tony McEntee. Taking his eye off the ball there with Peter Sherry. Chance here for Ushin McCombo. What a game this has produced. Going into the attack is Raymond Johnson. Had a previous existence as a wing forward. Giving it inside. There's a chance here for Fermanagh. Difficult angle, and the umpires say it's over the bar. Tom Brewster. 70 minutes played. We're into injury time. Sides level, 11 each. Fermanagh and Charlie Mulgrew on the verge of history. Fermanagh have never qualified for an All-Ireland football semi-final. If they win this, it'll be the longest journey in the championship in their history. One minute left, Niall Bogue. Heartbreaking stuff, heart-stopping stuff. It's wonderful football in Crook Park. History going to be made if these boys in green and white can produce a winner. McDermott to Johnson. There's the chance. This is the opportunity. He's hitting it. He's sending it. Over it's gone. What a winner from Mana. Tom Brewster. Have Armagh got time to score an equaliser? One second left. It's One up. second. Armagh are on to the championship. From Mana have produced the shot of the year. Can you believe it? Dreams do become realities. <laughs> there is nobody in for Mana. Long time ago, there was a political comment called Gubu. It's great, it's unbelievable, it's bizarre, and it's unprecedented. Oh, my word, Marty, I've never seen anything like it.
Can you believe the sea here in Croke Park? It's just unbelievable. They came here, no hoppers, everybody, analysts, experts, journalists, they all said goodbye from Anna, thanks very much. Instead of that, it's goodbye Armagh. The hottest of favourites, the Ulster champions, have been knocked out of the championship at a quarter-final stage by, yes, believe it or not, little-known Fermanagh. They love their football in Fermanagh, and nobody will deny them this, whether you're from Timor, Enniskillen, or Newton Butler. There's the scoreboard, Fermanagh.